It's not meant to be easy. Starting a business or furthering yourself in a career that you love, even just getting to the next level of your fitness or relationship or even mentally and spiritually within yourself is not going to be easy. I'm also not suggesting that it's going to be super hard too. Some things are easier than others, but life isn't designed to be easy. It isn't designed to be a walk in the park so you can happily stroll along and enjoy all the beauties in the world. There is going to be a time where you don't want to get out of bed in the morning and hit that workout before a busy day at work. And you know that there are going to be days where your alarm does actually go off and you will not get out of bed. You will turn it off and you will sleep in. And guess what? It is okay to have those off days because it is only a day, a moment. It is not the rest of your life because the world screams consistency and patience and always given a hundred percent. And that is super duper advice. So please keep that in mind. But we are allowed to have an off day, a day that just isn't as easy as some others. And those days are here to test us. Sometimes they test us and we push through and we get through it and we hit that workout. We have that shitty meeting with our boss that we didn't want to have. And you know what? You feel so relieved afterwards because you pushed yourself and you did it. And then you know what? Some days you just want to sit back, have a beer, play video games and just reset. Reset yourself and come back tomorrow stronger. Both options are perfectly fine. It is definitely the time when the world is just not a nice place is when you grow the most. People who sit around and they complain that this person did this or that or that is why they aren't where they want to be, it's absolute bullcrap. You are not where you want to be because you are not mentally there yet or you're simply not pulling your finger out of your ass to get there. That person who you are complaining about or that situation that you are complaining about is not going to do the work for you. Instead of seeing them as a negative influence, use them as motivation. They don't think you can do it? Screw it. Screw them and prove them wrong. So, and I'm not saying that so you can sit on a high horse and think that you're better than them when you prove them wrong. Just prove it to them that next time they try and count you out, they're reminded that you are one determined little bugger. So you're going to make mistakes. You might do something or a lot of things that even might make you cringe in years to come, but you need to learn these things. Um, I remember personally sending out my first lot of DMs um, that was aimed at fitness influencers and I worded it so wrong. I worded it in a way like, (laughs) I worded it in a way where it came across as you need me and I don't need you. And these were fitness influencers. These are people on social media who already have a following. They already have people who want to work with them. So why the diddly squat would they want to work with a startup business who basically is turning around to them and saying the wrong words? I felt like an absolute tool after that. And I can say it now because (laughs) I didn't, didn't sit on it. I had a few responses and to be honest, thank you to those people who did respond and just kind of go, look, you're not going the right way about this because that opened up my eyes and it allowed the learning curve to happen. But it taught me so much about how to interact with people. Obviously through text or through written word, it is a lot more difficult to get your point across. If I can sit in front of someone, I can discuss with them why, why I think I'm good enough and why I think they should give me a chance. I find it more difficult to do that with a word, but I'm learning. So that situation wasn't considered a loss for me. It's just a learning curve. I just want you to remember that if it isn't, that if it isn't what you call easy right now, then think about what it's actually teaching you. Use everything as a lesson, and then it automatically becomes more positive. Because if it's a lesson, we learn. So everyone out there, go 
and kill this week like I know you can. Until next time, my love as always, please check out our YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. It's usually all under either Emerge Elite or Emerge Elite Limited. Your energy and your support and your love means the absolute world to me and I'll never take it for granted. I'll see you soon, guys. Have an amazing week.